Hello, I'm going to do the Pisces energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. The cards that I'm using are the cards with the purple pouch. If you're interested in the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, so what you're struggling with, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Queen of Wands. What do you need to focus on? The Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Future energies, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Fool, I like that. And overall energies, we have the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> energies coming in for you or things are happening quickly. Um, So what you're struggling with is I feel like you have a lot of worry, especially with this nine of swords here. I feel like you have a lot of worry about if something's going to happen. I feel that you're I feel like you sort of had this goal. I almost feel like like, do you realize that your worry is kind of stopping you from reaching your nine of cups, your emotional fulfillment or whatever goal it is that you have set? And I feel like it's almost like you're worrying about things that it, like you can't control. And I feel like it's, it's putting a lot of this, this nine of swords is, is almost like building that wall or building that blockage, right? That you're thinking so much about something that you're trying to control something or you're trying to you know you're thinking of well if this does all of these these scenarios about it and I feel like it's it's your own thought process that is almost causing you to be held back from this nine of 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 cups and it's like something that I've learned for myself is that I I was kind of the same way where it was just like I would th overthink and over process so much about stuff. It was like I was putting myself in this sense of worry and this sense of nine of swords. And it was like I need to learn to just be in the moment and for the situation and what's going on right now. And... um to let go of that nine of swords and yeah like those possibilities are all out there everything that I thought was out there right but it's like if I keep myself in that energy it's almost like I'm living in that nine of swords energy instead of living in the nine of cups energy right that emotional fulfillment being happy for what it is that you have in the moment be happy for what is going on right now and to not worry about all of these other things are they things that maybe some things have to be addressed yes but I feel like keeping yourself in that energy is what's holding you back I feel like things are changing and it's bringing you in a lot of worry I feel you're worried about a lot of things I feel like you're worried about something you're worried about what's going to happen and maybe it's you're worried about what you should do about a situation and I just feel like there's a lot of worry there for you what it is that you need to focus on, I feel like you need to focus on like that grounding energy, what grounds you, what makes you feel stable, what makes you feel secure, what 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 are those positives that you have. I also feel like it's kind of doing that physical activity so you can release that, you know, sometimes for people who, who you know, if they work out, they're like, "Oh, you know, that's how I can release all my tension and my build up, right?" Um, if you go for a walk, like it feels so much better. If you stretch, like before I started doing my readings, I had a lot of tension in my back and my shoulders. So I literally just laid on the floor and I stretched things out and I, you know, stretched my arms and I'm like, wow, that feels so much better. I, for some reason, I'm feeling like you have a lot of tension in like your upper back and maybe your shoulders and your arms. And I feel like you need to stretch that out. Um, and I feel like just releasing that tension gives you that sense of, okay, like I just feel like you need to release this tension. I feel like that's going to help with the, with the Nine of Swords. 
And I also feel like it's focusing all the, on all of the things that you have in your plus column. Because I feel like maybe you have a tendency to look at the things that you don't have or all of the things that are in your negative column. So I feel like you need to focus on the things that are in your plus column because I feel like things are changing for you. I feel like there's changes coming in or I feel like there's some adjustments or I feel like there's a shift. Like there's some things that are changing and I feel like it's how are you going to handle those changes and I feel like right now you're in this nine of swords energy but I feel there you need to find a way to release that tension and that anxiety that you have. And I feel like this is sort of a learning lesson for you for in the future so that you know okay yeah like I've had this happen before I was in my nine of swords before this is what I did to get myself out of it and I feel like that's something that gives you a tool moving forward so that if you go back into this energy that you can use this for, for future situations and I feel like it's you know you're you, you're releasing that space that was taking up with the nine of swords and you're opening that up to the fool energy new beginnings new opportunities new things and and he has just this small little bag so it's like packing lightly right that you're not carrying all of this baggage around with you like you're not carrying these nine of swords around with you that he just has his little pack here and he feels free and he feels light and I feel this lightness over here and I feel like it it's almost like okay so many doors are opening up for you because you're not looking at these doors these opportunities with the nine of swords and saying well this isn't going to work because of this and this can't happen because of this and and putting that negativity on it and I feel like because over here you're in this full energy where you've packed light and you're feeling light and you're free and you're like yeah let me try this let me give this a try right I'm not going to overthink it. I'm not going to over. I'm going to give it a try. If it works, it works. It doesn't. It doesn't. And let me give that a try. And let me do this. And let me try this. And let me talk to that person. And let me. I don't want to pin myself down to anything because I want to explore all of the different opportunities that I have, right? And I want to see which one is going to be the best fit for me. And I feel this huge lightness right here in this energy over here for you. This huge lightness, and I feel like that's what you can attain. But it's working through this first, right? How how do you get to here? It, it's like realizing you're in the Nine of Swords, realizing that you need to focus on everything that you have in your plus column, realizing that maybe, you know, I have to do some stretches, I have to release this tension, I have to let go of this tension in some way, whatever way it works best for you, whatever those things, those tools that you have where you can release that tension right and then that gives you that sense of lightness that shows you all of these new opportunities and brings all these new opportunities in for you because your frame of mind is I'm open to all of these opportunities because over here your frame of mind is well you know this isn't going to happen and this is going to be negative and so that's what's coming in for you is this heaviness but over here when you're like in this lightness and you're open up to everything then that's what comes in for you right what energy is it that you want to come in for you do you want nine of swords energy or do you want like this light excuse me fool energy right being silly being light having fun not stressing not worrying yes there are things that we need to stress and worry about in our lives there are, there are serious situations but i feel like it, it can't be like that all the time because then that's a huge sense of heaviness there. So I feel like it's just kind of realizing what it is that you're focusing on, right? And how it's almost like you've turned your back on this nine of cups here, right? Because her back is to this nine of cups. And it's like, are you turning your your back on your nine of cups because you're, you, you, you're focusing on these nine of swords? Like, don't turn your back on your nine of cups. Don't turn your back on that emotional fulfillment and feeling happy and denying yourself that, right? two of cups I love it focusing on that two of cups surrounding yourself on what makes you happy what gives you enjoyment what's in your plus column and looking at new opportunities right here with the seven of cups like seeing yeah like you have these three empty cups in front of you but there's an opportunity over here so let me go explore that that's what I said over here with the fool it's like not not constantly saying oh well let me stare at this three of cups like seeing okay there's an opportunity coming in I think I'm going I'm going to explore that I'm going to check it out I'm going to see what's going on with that moving forward yes you're always going to have those challenges with those swords sticking up but it's like at least you're making that progress and you're having that forward mov movement I love that with the queen of cups that emotional fulfillment and I just feel like like 
feeling more in control of your emotions. So we have the Queen of Cups here. We have two Queen of Cups and I feel like it's coming back into like your energy um, and it's having that emotional fulfillment and feeling good and feeling fulfilled. And, and even though it, you may not have everything that you always wanted to have, but like you're so happy with what it is that you do have because you're looking at, okay, I have all of these amazing things in my plus column and I have all of these things going for me. And I really feel happy about that. And also having that fulfillment that, hey, I saw I was putting my, I had my back to my nine of cups. So I need to turn that around and, and I need to change that, right? And, and taking that proactive action to change things if you're not happy with them. All right, so we have the Star Dragons card. We have returning, going with the flow. I also feel like that has to do with the cups card and the emotions and the flow and the the feeling and saying, okay, I can't go backwards and I can't change things, but I see what's going on so I can move forward, right? That I can move forward with this. I can't change what's already happened, but I can move forward and then I can change on how, moving forward. I can change how I perceive things. I can change how I react to things. I can change what it is that I'm doing. Like I, you have that power to change moving forward. All right, let's grab a Whispers of Healing. We have Unconditional Love. So I feel that goes back with the Two of Cups. Giving yourself that unconditional love and saying, okay, I'm looking out for myself. I care for myself. I see that I have my back to my Nine of Cups. I see that I need to change things. I see that I have some tension build up and that I have to do... I have to look out for myself. I have to change things. What are those things that I can change? What are those things that I can do? What are those things that I can control? What are those things that I can deal with? I cannot deal with how other people are feeling or reacting or what they're doing, but I can, I can take control of what I'm feeling, what I'm doing, and how I'm reacting. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.